Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia represents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. Let's get acquainted with Western Armenia Harbert Fortress. Artsakh can never be part of Azerbaijan. The red lines of Stepanakert continue to remain the same. David Babayan. Azerbaijan will not give us a break. We must act on accelerated steps. Historian Ashot Harutunyan. Turkish press about Orfan Pamuk. He announced that Turks massacred one million Armenians and received the Nobel Prize. Artsakh has provided a share of Armenia's security for 30 years, and now there is another word about Artsakh, Tevan Pogosyan. The Kars River, which overflowed its bank to Western Armenia, flooded arable land. In fact, there cannot be any Azerbaijani territories in Armenia, Vartan Voskanyan, the most beautiful necklaces of Vasprakan, Hamlet of Sepian. The Harbert Fortress is located in the Harbert region of Western Armenia. The fortress was founded in the Rartian period in the 9th and 8th centuries. In ancient time, it was part of Tsop of Arzinic province of Greater Armenia. In 1236, the fortress was conquered by the Mongols. Later, the fortress were under the rule of Leng Temur. In 1507, the army of Shah Ismail I invaded Harbert, plundered and destroyed it. In 1515, Harbert was ruled by the Ottoman Sultan Selim I the Terrible. In 1617, Harbert was completely destroyed. In 1834, with a new administrative division, it became part of Tigranakert. In the late 19th and early 20th century, Turkish barbarians destroyed the fortress, using stones to build government buildings in Mezir. Artsakh Foreign Minister David Babayan confirmed that the red lines of Stepanakert remain the same. According to him, official Stepanakert has always said that dialogue is preferable to war. Naturally, we have our own point of view, that is, we will never be part of Azerbaijan. For us, this is unacceptable. It was unacceptable and will remain acceptable forever. And this meeting, as we have seen, mainly concerned the relation between the Republic of Armenia and the Republic of Azerbaijan. On Western Armenia TV, historian Ashot Harutunyan spoke about the latest events in Artsakh, analyzing the capture of the village of Paruk and the consequences of the action. Ashot Harutunyan spoke about Azerbaijan's intention to attack the village of Paruk because, according to him, if the enemy advances in this place, a wedge may be driven between the Martuni Stepanakert and Martakert sections. He also referred to the news according to which the collection of signatures for inclusion in Russian has begun in various localities of Artsakh, noting that he has no information confirming this news. It is only above the level of the news. Turkish media covered the marriage of Orfan Pamuk, a well-known Turkish writer in Armenian society, but they emphasized more the fact that Orfan Pamuk once stated in an interview with the Swiss Das magazine that the Turks have killed one million Armenians, and after that he was awarded a Nobel Prize, writes the website of newspaper Yeni Tag. It should be recalled that the nationalist circles of Turkey are hostile to Orfan Pamuk since he spoke about the genocide of Armenians, accusing the Turks of the massacre of one million Armenians and 30,000 Kurds. The statement issued after the meeting of the leaders of Armenia and Azerbaijan in Brussels does not mention either the status of Artsakh or the Armenians living in Artsakh. According to former RA, Deputy of National Assembly, Tevan Pogosyan, this fact means the end of 30 years' struggle. People starting the movement in 1988, in 1991, they took up arms to defend the land and declared independence. For 30 years, the Armenians of Artsakh have provided their share of security in Armenia, and now there is not a world about Artsakh. Pogosyan does not exclude that there could even be an oral agreement between the parties, and if this is the case, it means that a current Armenian authority saves the interests of Azerbaijan, he said. The statement also does not mention the OSCE Minsk Group, which according to Pogosyan means refusing to all talks about the status of Artsakh. Heavy rains in the city of Kars in Western Armenia caused the flooding of Kars River. Flood waters reached populated areas, flooding many agricultural lands. About 63 houses and 23 barns remained underwater. The authorities excavated many citizens. The river reached to Kars Karin Highway. Citizens are urged to be careful and ready in case of possible emergency. The Department of Emergency Situation in Kars has also been put on the highest level of readiness. The regular try to introduce into our awareness the idea that there are illegally Azerbaijani territories in Armenia. Vartan Voskanyan wrote about it. He in particular noted, in reality, this cannot happen because, figuratively speaking, if by the decision of the chairman of the collective farm, a nomadic tribe unknown in the history of human culture has established itself on the sacred Armenian land, this does not mean that the land has become Azerbaijani. And finally, the most complete lack of strategic depths of the territory of Republic of Armenia and the Republic 
Republic of Artsakh makes every piece of our homeland important for ensuring our continued existence. Hamlet of Sepian, a collector of unique samples of Armenian applied art, write about this on his Facebook page. The most beautiful of us Brokan necklaces that I have ever met. In the past, the role of Armenian women was not limited on household concerns and raising a child. Armenian men of the 19th century were able to appreciate their mothers, daughters, sisters and wives, and it's not for nothing that Van Selmer Smiths made more women's jewelry than anything else. Now musical part, Armenian folk song. The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.